this lady is going to get operation because she had an enlarged heart. What do you do? Like, it's enlarged. So now you're going to operate on what? To do what? She came and started taking the herbs, and her heart came down, and she didn't have to get that operation. Thank goodness. Because it, the enlarged heart, I just use that as an example, was too much music in there. We could look at it from many aspects. A person that has a heart attack, that's mucus. We start, we start from cholesterol. Cholesterol is these little balls. And they look yellow and they show them in the veins of these little balls. Cholesterol. That is mucus hibernating in there. So it becomes flat like the way the walls are. But it piles up and it piles up. So the blood can't pass through there. Then they call it plaque. It's still mucus. Now the blood can't pass through and it's struggling to pass through. So now the blood creates these clogs. They create them because it can't, it means, okay, defense. There's something foreign here. It means defense. And it makes this crack. And then you have this heart attack because it couldn't pass. Because you weren't getting enough oxygen. So now you got this mucus. We know the food causes it. We know the, it's the acid that breaks down the mucus membrane. Now how is the herb aiding in that? to release that, to alleviate that totally. It is what just now, 36 years we've been doing this, but I'm always learning and every client that I talk to, I'm always learning. And what I realize is that we all, all of us, we turned our back on our body. Because you don't think that your body do anything. If you have diabetes, you're not thinking that your body is going to be able to reverse that. If you have arthritis, you think, oh my God, i got to go to the doctor and do something about this because there's so much pain. So if you have a cold and you're really down in the bed of flu or virus, as they call it, and you're down in the bed, you go to the doctor for that, for them to give you something for it. So I say that to say that it's not the herbs doing a fix it. That person comes to us with cancer, diabetes, leukemia, or a cold, mucus. It's not the herbs fixing it or sore. It's the body that is healing itself. It is the herbs that are enabling it to give it that ability to do that because it's the body that's doing it. So, if you have so much mucus, the mucus starts in the stomach. The blood is carrying it. So what we do is we clean the blood. But, okay, everybody's going to want their Maya, 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 right? Right? The herbs go into the system. How does it get into the system? It goes into your colon and the blood begins to pick it up. So we have to nourish the blood, build the blood up, clean the blood, purify the blood so that when it goes through the rest of the system. But at the same time, what are we doing is the reason why it's always needed the whole package. You've got to clean the colon because the blood picked it up from there. Now, you've got four different basic, four different, it's called the renal system, filters, just like you have in the car. They're not functioning properly. So what is the herb doing to the question? Is to go in there and clean, just like you clean the filters in your car. It's got to clean it. It can't pass through. Diabetes is not, the duct is blocked. Nothing could pass through. Pressure, it can't pass through. We've got to clean that mucus out. And then you no longer have the pressure. The herb is just cleaning it out, nourishing it, and strengthening it. And it's not just because it's working with the body. The chemicals that you're taking is working against the body. It's working with it, and it's working with the whole system, which, with every organ. So the Maya is like number one, your best friend, because it's cleaning the blood. But you've got to clean the rest of the system, the liver, the kidney, the gallbladder. 
And that's what the herb is doing, is cleaning, but at the same time, revitalizing. How is it revitalizing? Because it's made of the minerals. It's made of minerals. And the body is made of 102 minerals. That's all it's made of. 